Hi, my name is Brian O'Neill Hughes. I'm one of the product managers on the Photoshop team. Today I'd like to give you a sneak peek of just some of what we're working on here in our labs. We haven't released this yet, but we wanted to give you an idea of what we're up to. Here's an image we shot for a client, and it looked great when we took it, but in looking at it a little more closely now, we realize that uh, we've got some lens flare here, and there are a couple of pieces of trash on the ground. And of course, this is the one they've chosen for print, uh, so we realize that we really need to give it some scrutiny and clean up some of the trash and the distracting elements in the image. They've also asked that we go ahead and remove this tree in the left-hand side of the image because they want to put text and a logo up there and they don't want it to conflict with the background. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, let's first look at some tools that we have available to us right now uh, in CS4. Spot Healing Brush is a really great tool, but if I were to try to use it on something like this, you see I pick up artifacts from the background. And if I try to cross a shadow, like this right here, same thing. It doesn't really behave the way I would like it to. So you'll notice that we have a new Content Aware option here. And I can come through here, and we can just pull these out really quickly and easily. Don't have to spend a lot of time. Just click on the area, and we're making a much better guess about the information surrounding that area. So I can come through here and clean up those divots in the grass, and I can even come down to this tricky area with the shadow, pull that leaf out really quickly and easily. Over here, take that out, move that out of there, and even clean up this area right there. Now when it comes to areas like this lens flare right here, let's take a closer look at that. If you've ever tried to remove this manually, you know this is really time consuming and problematic because you essentially have to go in and stitch the fabric and build the bench, change the color and tone of it. Really difficult. I'm going to click the delete key and you see that I now have a content aware fill option. And really, really quickly, that's exactly what we've done there. I can do the same thing down here in the lower corner where we have some lens flare. Just make a loose selection, click delete, and we'll fill in that area. Now let's talk about that tree. Uh, this is going to be a little tougher. And to make our jobs somewhat easier, let's crop the image a little bit, give it a little more balance. See, we've got a nice rule of thirds overlay there. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Sure enough, we have a little bit of uh, flare coming off the sun there, but we can patch that up. Now, when it comes to the tree, I already made a selection. Uh, it's not a perfect selection, just intended to save a second here. And all I'm going to do is load that and just click Delete and let Content Aware Fill chew through that and remove that tree for me. Something that would take forever and ever if I were to do that manually. It would be really tough to balance the sky. So in just a single click of the mouse, we got really far with that. I can reselect that area, choose to clean it up a little bit more by running Content Aware Fill on it. And you can see really quickly, we've removed our lens flare, we've taken a bunch of trash off the ground, we've removed a couple of poles, and we took out that whole tree. Let's just go back and look at what we started with there. Pretty dramatic difference before and after. Let's look at another example of what we could do here. Here's another image. Uh, this one for a website, and they like the wide format of the image, um, but they've asked us for a, an image with and without the road. Now, of course, we don't have that. We only have uh, the one, uh, the road that we drove out on. But let's see what Content Aware Fill can give us, hopefully a starting point where we just have desert, and then we can go back and tune that up a little bit. So we're just going to let it chew through that road and put a desert over there. Excellent. Great start. Uh, in fact, looks really, really nice. We'll just go around and touch that up a bit and we'd be done. Last example I want to show you. I've got five images from the same trip. I've made a panorama of them. I love the image. I love the sky. But the biggest problem is I've got this misshaped edge and I need to fill that in. And this can be really tricky and it's a really common problem. So I'm just going to lean on my old magic wand tool. Again, click delete and ask Content Aware Fill to look all around the edges of the image and build out the sky and build out the foreground and the bushes and the mountains. And as we watch the progress bar race across there, just imagine how long it would take for you to do this manually with today's tools. It would be virtually impossible, and if you did do it, it would take a really, really long time. So let's see what we come up with here. There you go. In a matter of seconds, we've completely built out our panorama. So we uh, retouched an image, we picked up a bunch of trash, we removed objects we couldn't before, took a whole tree out, 
completely changed a, a wide image for web, and here we fixed a really common problem with panoramas. So just a few of the things that you can do with Content-Aware Fill.